and say a few closing uh, comments. And then I'm going to announce the uh, results from the poster um, prize. So the Microbiology Society sponsored the um, poster for the poster. So there was three posters have been selected by a panel of judges and each, um, each person will receive a hundred pounds from the Microbiology Society. But first of all, just a few, um, a few notes. First of all, just to thank everybody very much for coming. Um, virtual conferences are, are they're tough <laughs> because we have all the sort of concentration that we don't get to debrief over coffee, but um, the content here was excellent. Um, I th it, uh, I've got some statistics here from Mohammed. We actually had 130 participants from 20 countries of which we had 16 countries spoke, uh, people from 16 different countries and I just spoke. Um, 45 different institutions or companies and we have 35 um, oral presentations and 30 posters. So if you're like me, a wee bit tired, that's, that's why, that's what we've uh, learned. So um, one thing I wanted to say is I think that the reason why this meeting is probably a success is that m many of us have met each other before at these Oxford meetings. It's a very nice um, venue to actually uh, chat informally. Um, so, so that means it sort of works for a little bit virtually. And I hope people that we don't know, the younger people and new people, I hope you did feel welcomed and hopefully we can <laughs> the older people can welcome you in person uh, next year. And meantime, don't don't feel shy about emailing people to, to follow up. So sort of, because I find I'm, I'm sort of processing everything still. I'm probably be emailing people myself to say, well, you know, you said that. So I just, so for people who don't know as well the FAGE community, it's very, very warm and people never mind being asked things. And actually, um, some of you may not know that Mohammed he used to run lots and lots of these scientific meetings, Mohammed Salil, but now he, um, he doesn't do so many and he actually just supports the communities he likes <laughs> he's in that nice position so i thank him enormously for uh, liking us and for continuing to, to run it i think it was a really excellent meeting um so um i think uh, especially the young people that presented some people some data hopefully we'll see you next year to present what you then find out um, oh yeah, I need to thank the sponsors. Um, it's lovely having Adam here, although he was representing a sponsor, it's just nice to have all those questions. And yeah, thank you everybody for being so engaged in that chat. And I think going forward, hopefully next year, we'll have a, a at least a, a hybrid meeting where people um, who can travel um, will, will do so. And for those of you who, have, who haven't been to St Hilda's um, College, it's a really, really nice base with a river and it's really beautiful the trees and lawn it's a good place to have lots of my long-term collaborators I've, I've met there so hopefully we'll have a hybrid meeting a little bit like the evergreen meeting the people that attended that but with a, a larger balance of people who are actually there in person <laughs> um so um i think there are some features though that we can probably keep so the hybrid will obviously allow people who can't travel to attend i thought the chat feature was really useful and I should say that um, Mohammed is really, really receptive. He's running this meeting for us and that anybody wants to hear particular people or topics, he's very receptive. Just um, if you send him an email or send me an email, we can, I'm sure we can accommodate that in, in next year's meeting. Um, the posters will be, um, will be also available uh, for longer. So I think that's good as well, because I always find that normally I'm chatting so much, I have to sort of stay really late when everyone's left and <laughs> look at the posters. So anyway, that isn't the case. The posters will be there. So that's um, my concluding remarks. And now I'm going to just share my screen so you can see the posters. So there was thank you very much to the Microbiology Society for supporting the, the poster and for the people who judged. That was very kind of you to do that. And here are the winners. I really need a slide like Ruben's nice slide to do some clapping. But um, as I don't have that, I can have a virtual clap. <laughs> And you can see he's, these are the winners of the um, poster competition um, in, in uh, no particular, or well, they're actually written in, in alphabetical order. The poster actually that had the, um, the most votes from the judges was, was um, actually Michaela Proka, Pro, uh, Prokatskova, if that's pronounced correctly. Um, so this poster was acknowledged by nearly everybody who judged. Um, and then, um, Elena Jameson and uh, Eugenia Simoliunas. Um, very um, warm congratulations to your posters as well. The posters I have to say were, it was really, really, um, I was just one of many people who judged, but it was really hard because they were so good. Um, that microbiology will be in touch with you about how to receive, um, the microbiology will send you a check. Um, 
for winning that. So um, yes, congratulations. And yeah, thank you. It's always always find that at the end of this meeting, it's always really sad to to say goodbye to people in the flesh. Uh, it's sort of in a way a little bit um, less sad doing it virtually because but, but it's still quite sad. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope people enjoy the conference. I think there was lots for everybody and um, hopefully we'll all see each other in person soon. Mm -hmm.